Hey guys, this is Rami X back with another video. Um, sorry if I sound a bit like tired. I am a bit tired, but uh, I have a bit of a cold. <sighs> At least I hope it's just a cold. Anyway, this is part 16 of What If Naruto Was Adopted by Kakashi and Kai. And also, this is actually the finale. The, or sorry, the grand finale, I should say. Because the other video is the finale. This will end the series, pretty much, so... Uh, then I'll introduce a new what-if, and that will be my weekend what-ifs, and then my weekday what-if will be what if Naruto had all dojutsu. <coughs> Anyhow, we left off with pretty much all current Sharingan users gaining the eternal Mangekyou Sharingan, and we now switch to Kabuto, reviving the previous Akatsuki, including Madara Uchiha. They then were dispatched on the Hidden Leaf Village, but were all destroyed by Naruto in an instant, except for Madara Uchiha, Nagato Uzumaki, and Hinan and Kakasu. They then blitz Kakasu and used Sage Mode, destroying his Stone Guard, or I think it's called Stone Grudge, Stone Grudge, and breaking through, killing him instantly. And he used the same tactic he did on Hinan that as he did before. I think I actually did not explain what he did to him, but anyways. On Hidan, grabbing wire, beheading him, and exploding his head with fire and paper bombs, killing him. He then jumped up, creating two Rasengans, but in the shadows, Madara was killing teams upon teams with his Susano. But a newly released Obito from prison, Kakashi, Itachi, and Sasuke had showed up in front of Madara. Madara then said, Kill these fools, Obito. But Obito then said, Kamui. As Madara said, good job. But he was but he was actually being Kamuid. Madara was being Kamuid into the Kamui dimension with himself and the others, making it so Madara can't escape. But Madara then used his wood clones and they all used Susano, making it five to one, like how the five cocky versus Madara went. Creating twenty. And he started to body he started bodying <coughs> them all, saying is this really your true power? Is there anybody who can actually stop me? But they then all used their EMS abilities, Amaterasu and Kamui. The taking excuse me, taking them out of the dimension while Madara said, You fools, I'm already dead at this moment. I'll just exhaust myself and eventually break free once you use Kamui again. Disappearing, they then went to help Naruto fight the Akatsuki, and Sasuke created a Chidori running at Nakato, and Itachi lit it with a Matarasu, creating a sort of sealing jutsu, if you will, sealing Nagato with it and making him return to the land of the dead, telling them all thank you for their gratitude in letting him finally rest in the afterlife, or his soul, I should say. While he then killed the rest and figured out that Kabuto was creating them, and he then teleported Itachi and Sasuke <coughs> oh my god I'm so sick <coughs> to him to kill Kabuto Kabuto was then defeated and was Izanagi by Itachi turning him I guess we could say good and now he's an ally of the leaf realizing that he was in the wrong and this honestly ends the great ninja war and technically Shippuden Zetsus then attacked the village, but were easily killed by Jugo, Kimamaro, Karin, and Sugetsu, and Guy. The fighting is finally completed, and Naruto settles down and makes Obito Hokage for a few years. In a week before Naruto was going to become Hokage, a meteor was launched down at the Earth, but Itachi quickly destroyed it. Toneri then came to Earth, but Hinata was fighting him and actually winning. We have to remember that Toneri wasn't that powerful. He only had a base Byakugan, and eventually... Kakashi helped her when Toneri was about to get the upper hand, Kamuiing him, but then Madara broke through in human form, releasing himself in the Edo Tensei. Well, he already had released himself when Kata released the Jutsu, but yeah. Teaming up with Toneri, defeating him, Hinata, almost as Sasuke defeated them, imprisoning Madara and Toneri. So Sasuke came as well to uh, fight, I guess you could say. 
Naruto then took their knowledge, and Toneri went back to the moon to watch over the earth, and Madara just lived out his life, had a son, and settled down from fighting. What I mean from settled down from fighting is, like, so he's still gonna fight, because, like, yeah, it's Madara Uchiha, but, I mean, he's not just, like, killing people and, sh and stuff like that. He was even named Hokage for two years, and then Naruto was finally named the seventh Hokage. So, I put a lot of Hokage in here that I wanted to become... Hokage, just if you were wondering, <coughs> or whose dream it was. Also, I don't think you guys have any, any um, criticism about Madara being Hokage, at least, because he pretty much founded the village, and he was actually supposed to be the second Hokage. Anyway, Antonari went back to the moon to watch over the earth, and Madara, as I said, just lived out his life. Quick summarization of that. Naruto was finally named the seventh Hokage, and being able to just create a super clone that would do Hokage duties, one that would do missions to raise the economy, and one to actually spend time with his family. As he was trying to decipher Kaguya's scrolls, Sasuke had located and located, and he also had killed Donzo with their remaining Uchiha. And retrieving Shisui's eye, unlike in the original, Sasuke was out on a mission when he encountered Kinshiki and Momoshiki, fighting them exactly how he did in the original and reporting back to Naruto. We now approach the Boruto tuning exams. Like I said, I would be covering Boruto in this part. Um, so now we get to the Boruto tuning exams, and in this timeline, he doesn't use the ninja tools and beats Shik... Oh my gosh. Shikamaru's son by activating the Chidori, which he learned from Naruto and Sasuke, and this Boruto also has the Shidori, or I already said that, oh my gosh, I'm so, my eye hurts so bad, Naruto and Sasuke, this Boruto also has the Sharingan, so that's kind of why he wins and beats Shikadai, Nara, and Boruto and Genesis, who is Sasuke's son, not with Sakura, but with Karin Uzumaki, <coughs> who has already gotten the two Tomoe Sharingan, and they were eventually both caught by the Iron Sand, like how Boruto and Sarada were in, like, the original where it was, like, a, like a free-for-all, kind of, but they, like, teamed up. How by the Iron Sand, like how Boruto and Sarada were in the original against Shinki, and Boruto used a subtle Genjutsu on Shinki, thinking that they gave up, and Shinki released the Jutsu, and through Genesis wanting to gain his father's respect, Completely, he was able to awaken his three Tomoe Sharingan, and they both started wrecking Shinki. <coughs> Boruto activated his Chidori with Genesis, and they ran at him while he used Iron Sand Guards. And they broke through, saying, you'll have to surrender, Shinki, destroying it, and kicking him up into the air, and jumping towards him. As they lifted their feet and slammed it into him, Shinki then stood up, dropped a tear, from his, or shed a tear, from his face, and said, I will make my father proud. As he created more iron sand pouring onto them, but they broke it. Kind of like how Lee broke the garrison. They then pushed him, kicked him away, and he shed another tear, saying, I will make my father proud. They then said, So will we! punching him with their free hands, and they then threw two explosive tags at Shinki, blowing up, knocking him out. And Genesis and Boruto then started fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and Boruto was winning due to them having the three Tomoe longer than Genesis, two years earlier to be exact, but then Boruto started getting low on chakra because he isn't half Uchiha. He's not able to hold it for a super long time, but he is still able to hold it because he's an Uzumaki. Blah. Excuse me. And if you're wondering how he got the starring gun, Naruto gave him the eyes. Like, I think I explained in the previous part. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Genesis gained the upper hand. They both then jumped back, saying, It's now or never, bro. Activating the Chidori. They then launched. And Boruto used the Jutsu that he just started learning in his three time. They were sang on as they clashed. Genesis then said, That's Uncle Naruto's and Grandpa Minato's Jutsu. Saying... Fine, 
Have it your way. I've been saving this for the tune-in exams. That's why you've never seen it in our spars. Activating the Kekigenkai of the Uzumaki clan. The Uzumaki ceiling chains. <coughs> Boruto then gasped, saying, Anti's jutsu? Damn it. I guess you've won. There's no point in fighting these chains as they attach to his arms and legs as they sucked up all the chakra from the Rasengan and deactivated both of his jutsu. He said, come, as Kakashi came down saying, Genesis wins, as he then whispered into both their ears saying, you're not bad. Honestly, you're probably Jonin level, if not at least high Chunin, saying, good job. Going back to the stands, we now switch to when Momoshiki and Kinshiki attack Naruto. Alert creates a shadow clone to inform Sasuke. Because, like, Naruto's, like, really alert because, like, recently the Kaguya thing and all that stuff. Anyways, to inform Sasuke. And he runs into the arena with Konohamaru kicking Kinshiki up into the air and using a master student Rasengan in on Kinshiki, almost killing him. Naruto then kicked Konohamaru down as Momoshiki clawed into Naruto. Naruto grabbing him mid-air and almighty pushing him. Naruto then said, No way. That's Nagato's jutsu. You must possess a Renegon. As they locked eyes, realizing that he had one, Momoshiki then said, Now, universal pull, as Naruto threw towards him. <coughs> Naruto then grabbed a nunchuck-like object, which he then propelled towards the beams of the stands and pulled some ninja wire out, doing the same thing on the opposite side of it. And he was being pulled really slowly, but was still kind of being pulled. So he was strategizing and then activated a bit of his power to test his strength, like to test Moshiki's strength, as he then created a giant Rasengan in MCM and it was heavy enough to stop it falling to the ground like, stop himself falling to the ground, and it was heavy enough to just keep him propelled in the air. Because there still is a gravitational pull from the universal polar Bancho Tenning. Falling, he then started falling to the ground when the attack pretty much deactivated, and he decided to slam it into Kinshiki, who was wounded on the ground, but Momoshiki appeared, holding out his hand, absorbing all of the Rasengan, saying, after this, I'm taking your body, as Naruto said, now, GCM, activating MCM and GCM at the same time, Momoshiki then said, too much energy, how Naruto then smirked, activating KCM1, which Momoshiki barely held, he then said, ha, ah, as he raised his power in a flurry, activating KCM2, MCM, GCM, EMS, and even Sage Mode, which... He had learned about a year ago, and he had previously. And it was so much energy destroying the surrounding areas, Momoshiki said no. As his hand exploded from all the energy which Naruto had released, saying it's over, Momoshiki. Turning his head red as he pushed his Rasengan in hand, sorry. Like how Boruto was, as he pushed his Rasengan into Momoshiki, killing him completely. And the blast's radius had almost killed Kinshiki as well. Naruto then passed out as Genesis jumped down with his Uzumaki chains at the ready, wrapping around him and activating the Chidori, killing him. So, like, he was killing, he killed Momoshiki. Naruto, like, almost killed Momoshiki with the attack. Like, pretty much his body was, like, like, like literally, like, disintegrating. But then Genesis went down there and uh, activated the Chidori and stabbed it, killing him completely. So, uh, Momoshiki is not coming back. He then activated his Uzumaki chains at the ready, wrapping around him and activating Chidori, killing him, giving Genesis a karma mark instead of Boruto. And Naruto gets one as well, because I'm not covering anything else in Boruto. We now switch to Naruto and Sasuke versus Ishiki, Otsutsutsuki. They begin their fight going into their avatars as Yoshiki Otsutsutsuki came along with him, taking Naruto's chakra, but Naruto then grabbed the hook, saying, People who steal power. No, people who take things that they didn't work for. I can't stand that. Blitzing him, and Sasuke then followed as he was then cut off by Ishiki. Naruto then created ten clones that attacked them, and Sasuke was bodying Ishiki with them. He then activated Inja's arrow, firing it and nearly killing Ishiki, saying, Not bad, Uchiha Sasuke. Naruto then said, Give up, as he bodied Yurashiki and holding Rasengan, he then disappeared, grabbed Genesis and Boruto, and took them to the fight. As he amped Rasengan with Boruto, and Boruto killed Yurashiki with it. <coughs> and Sasuke finished off Ishiki with 
Naruto's super clones help. And they all get karma marks by extension. Anyhow, we now have a time skip to an older Boruto and Sabrina who are just walking as they hear a bang near the Hokage Tower and the Hokage office, or I guess you could say tower. At this time, Konohamaru is the current Hokage, and he's learned Seijima, so he's much stronger. And Sarada, Mitsuki, and Boruto ran towards it, but 40 S-Class ninjas s surrounded them. Sarada created a clone and told them she has to protect and help Konohamaru. Sasuke and Naruto are at the hidden cloud with Auntie Yugito and Uncle B. Sarada then arrived where Konohamaru was and aided him against a masked figure who took off their mask, revealing Sumire, who then summoned Nue, or I just say Nue, who at this point was on Tail Beast levels because it's been growing for at least six years. And Sumire started winning, and Konohamaru was already in Sage mode, and Sumire gathered. Energy with new as they fired a tail beast bomb like energy ball and Sumire used a water style Water bullet jutsu going around it. Komohamaru then say get the hell out of here Sarada As he used her Sangon, but it was too late He was hit and his body was being vape burnt and vaporized also it was a giant Rasengan. He then said Sarada you have made me so proud all of you And you are to be named Oh, the new Hokage after my death. And please don't run the village how I did. Do better than me. As he disintegrated and Sarada fell to the ground saying, How dare you, Sumire? How dare you take him away from us? <coughs> I swear I will kill you with no remorse for killing my sensei. As her three Tomoe Sharingan reactivated and transformed into the Mangeku Sharingan. As then, she activated a pink Susano. As she manifested a sword... But was still in a ribcage. This is not a perfect Susano because she just got it. Pinning Sumire to the ground with her sword as Sarada went over to Nue, who was trying to hurt Sarada, but the guard of the Susano was too strong. She then, Sarada then ripped off and broke off all of Nue's limbs one by one as she laughed, saying, You took my sensei. Now I'm showing you how it feels. Repeating something her grandpa Kakashi and Naruto always say. And says, Ninja who disobey the rules are regarded as scum, but Ninja who would abandon a friend, they're worse than scum. And this is Naruto's part. Or somebody you have a bond with. If you could throw it away so easily, then you deserve to die. As she then remarked, and you just weakened the Leaf's military power. Bastard, killing her with her blade as she de deformed, falling to the ground of exhaustion. Himawari was also already born and is joining at age eight, which is pretty good because, like, she bodied Hokage Naruto, so, like, but he was off guarded. Anyhow, this was the finale to what a Kakashi and Guy adopted Naruto. It's, it has been a very long time, and honestly, this series is truly my baby and i love it so much but i'm going to have to end it here sasuke and naruto grow old as they pass on their will of fire to the next generation of ninja and that's pretty much it <coughs> there will still be conflict but things are relatively great and any conflict the leaf can pretty much deal with it but the leaf in the cloud have a truce and the sand just the stone village and the mist stone but the cloud spawn is a bit stronger because Yugi Tone B and then in the Sand Gara. Anyhow, I love you guys so much for supporting this series that I created and the journey with it. Thank you for supporting this series and making me want to do more of it. We finally finished it and the series is finally over. Rami X out. Oh.